you want your partner, if you got a partner, to be looking around, looking to see if he sees other squads and where they're going to be landing in the particular area you're dropping, whether it's Pachinki, Razhak, School, whatever. It doesn't matter. And after that, you want to push them as soon as you can, typically. That's what we do. Uh, as soon as I get a weapon, the element of surprise is in your favor at that point. Uh, most people think uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna come at us right now. They're they're gonna get their vest. They're gonna get everything, their helmets and everything, and then we can fight. Well, guys, you don't always have to have all of that. Sometimes the element of surprise is just as good as having all of that. You could catch somebody totally off guard, and and basically uh, th they'll start spraying, missing. I mean, if you're prepared and they're not you have the advantage and that's one of the tactics one of the dirty little tactics that we use when we play uh, PUBG Mobile it's just aggression and speed and violence that's that's it in a nutshell guys Dr. Disrespect coined those uh, three those three principles and uh, I love watching him as well so there you go I adopted them myself now right here me and Z are gonna trade weapons guys I like the Uzi uh, Z likes uh, the shoddy but that's all we have, I think, is a shoddy and an Uzi. And I'm going to show you how good I like this Uzi. Uh, that's that's how good I like this Uzi. This has nothing to do with house pushing, guys. It's just showing you guys uh, that I love the Uzi. <laughs> so we'll get on into the video right here. We're going to push these guys. We know where they are. This is in the same drop. I've seen a guy running there to the left, but I'm not worried about him. I am actually worried about these guys. So right here, I'm going to dart in, and uh, I'm going to try to draw their fire. But what ends up happening here is Z takes the brunt of the fire. But as I was strafing, I was able to take him down. Now, I'm going to revive Z here. We're not under pressure at this time. I'm listening intently, but we are not under pressure. And by the way, I grabbed the second Uzi on the way in the house. Now, Z's going to help up a little bit here. And we're going to try to find this guy's squad mate. And loot their corpses, obviously. But that was the tactic right there, guys. Uh, have a lead man and a guy following up. Now, uh, we found this guy here. And uh, I'm going to go into just talking about strafing. Keeping yourself safe here. He darts out. Tries to ambush me right here. I'm strafing. I took the door. He's going to run. I, I hot swap weapons. And I'm going to jump over here and try to find him. Well, guess what? Me and Z are talking. And here he is. I see him in that room. Z's going to go the other way. We're going to try to pinch him. But Z ends up actually getting him right there with an Uzi. Now, he had a squad mate on the other side of the road. And he's got some guys here uh, approaching. And Z takes him down. I'm going to close some doors here and uh, loot up. Now, right here, uh, I popped the smoke. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. we. I remember this. We, we uh, killed a couple of guys on the outside and watch this sequence here guys he almost killed me right there he he, he uh, third party me I'm gonna flashbang him and we're just gonna get him for free right there Z's gonna pop in take him down I'm gonna health up GG definitely utilize those flashbangs guys right here we get ambushed ourselves look at this a snake and pachinki what the heck so we're pushing Z's going in He's going to push two guys in this bit, this position here. I'm going to strafe once again, like I was telling you guys. And then I'm going in to finish it up after I reload. I, I didn't want Z to die, so I put the heat on these guys. But guess what, guys? It's, I cannot revive Z yet. You know why? Because there's another guy coming. So I'm going to have to neutralize this threat before I can uh, raise Z. And here we go. He's going to go down. And there it goes, guys. Just like that, I'm going to get in here and revive my, my teammate. Right here, guys, this is an example of utilizing a knock to press a position. Now, as I go up there, I'm going to see something that really confuses me. I see a guy up top. I thought that was his teammate, guys. But what that was was a guy stealing my kill. Look at the crate right here. And, the, and my kill is gone. And so, and this guy actually does what I call a hucklebuck. He actually dropped down on me and tried to reverse. He's a smart player, but not smart enough.
All right, here we go again. Another hot drop. I'm pushing. I've got a UMP and a pistol. And this guy has nothing. Like I said, he's got a he's got a pistol. Like I said, guys, uh, this this is what you want to do when you drop. Catching these guys. Now he was armed, but I caught him by surprise. And that is house pushing 101 when you're in Pachinki. Now this right here <laughs> was a house push gone wrong. Uh, I tried to utilize mollies. I missed the window with the first one. Uh, but I helped up and I've lost my m momentum right now. But as I was doing that, lo and behold, this guy comes up. And we're going to dance a little bit. And then I start taking fire from what looked like behind me. but and So right here, me and I'm trying to think who is this I'm playing with at the time. Oh, this is Big Fat Jones. Uh, me and him are talking, and we are going to coordinate a strike on this guy. I'm going to smoke him. Oh, look at him. He's right here. Holy smokes. Wow. That guy almost killed me, but we still got the guy in this room. That is not the guy. That, that guy was in yellow. And he's just shooting blindly into the mist. But there again, guys, this is another tactic you can smoke. And watch this guy. This guy's going to catch me rezzing. Holy smokes. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, is, that was not the plan. That was not the plan. So I just, I want to help up because uh, that guy hurt me pretty badly. And uh, I need this help to get in here. My vest is shredded. I'm just going to push this guy in eventually. Or either I'm going to throw a, a frag in there. Yep, he's going to get a frag. Or I'm going to actually miss and, and hurt myself. Yep. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So, it's enough of this mess. I'm just going to push in there and get him. Enough of this. You don't always have to be fancy, guys. Just go in there. And he knows you're coming. Who's got the better aim? There you go. Go in there. All right, right there, I totally missed that guy by the fence. I did not see him, but look at this. The way that I moved up there, it was too fast for that guy. He was in a stagnant position. That's another thing about house pushing, guys. Stay moving. Stay moving. It's hard to hit a moving target. A guy that is camping, um, obviously he's camping there because, for one, his aim is bad. Uh, so he's hoping that he can cut you off uh, camping a staircase. Uh, or, he, you know, he's he, he knows he doesn't have skills. He's afraid. And that's why he's doing that. So, I mean, ultimately, if you can utilize Paul or Claw method uh, with players,